What is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Top 3 Starter Farms in Minecraft Bedrock. This is your boy Cheeseburger Eddie and as always, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. What we're going to be going over today is three simple farms that you can create relatively early in your Minecraft world, why they're beneficial, what you'll get from them, and so much more. So if you haven't already, make sure you leave that like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and let's get right into it. The first of which we're going to cover today is a cow farm. Now I know this is something many of you have probably already built, but this one in particular caught my eye because it's super easy to make and it is very efficient. So here's exactly what you need. All the items are specific amounts. You got chest, hoppers, observers, you got some dispensers. Everything you see on the screen here, you want to have the exact same amounts. And then the wheat is obviously, once you get this farm up and running, the wheat you want to make just sure that you have as much as you can because that's going to be what ensures this thing speeds up. Uh, so to speak. So let's go ahead and jump in how you build it. So on a five by five area, like so, we're just gonna map it out. Go ahead and put a chest, a double chest in the middle. So you're gonna go ahead and put it right there with a hopper pointing into the middle, like so, and then hoppers pointing into that hopper on either side. That is the first step of making sure that all that cooked beef and all that leather go into the farm. Now the next step is getting a observer block and putting it on top of that middle hopper pointing this way. So you want the face pointing the chest. That is number one. Put a button on that observer and you are good to go on that end. Now, the next steps, let's go ahead and start working our way around here by building some blocks on the back side of that observer. And what that's gonna entail is that you gotta put the dispensers on the top like so. Fill the rest of those gaps with, with uh, regular blocks, whatever you're using. You don't have to use chiseled brick blocks. You can use whatever you want. So after everything, you should be looking like this. And now on the middle one up here, you wanna go ahead and put another dispenser this is where you're gonna put your water bucket, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now go ahead and fill up the rest of the layer and one more layer high, like so. You are pretty much good to go on that end. Now let's go ahead and start finishing everything else. We're gonna put a upside down stair right here. This just ensures that nothing is going to get caught up and go ahead and fill up your walls on either side of the observers, like so. And once you do this, you are pretty much halfway done. So now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead and go and build up our roof but leave that bottom middle or that middle block in the back open because you want to make sure that's where your cows are going to go in so once you do that go ahead and get some trap doors put them over the hoppers like so and then go ahead and put the trap doors on the ceiling facing each side you want them looking just like this so when they open you can pretty much corral those cows corral those cows is that what i'm saying corral those cows like so and you are good to go now you want to make a upside down u with your glass just making sure you can get them all contained and nothing escapes so basically you can get in you can get out and they can't so fast forwarding from there let's go ahead and talk about the back side so <laughs> what you're going to need in those dispensers and everything else in the top one you're going to put a bucket of water and in the bottom uh bottom two you're going to put a bucket of lava now the bucket of lavas are what is what's going to cook your your cows and the top one's gonna make sure you just keep them afloat. Put a redstone dust in that middle block area like we just saw, uh, because that's gonna ensure that everything works smoothly and no issues. So once you click that dispenser, that uh, observer button, you're good to go. Now from here, go ahead and put a button on the back side of the farm where your little hole was for the uh, cows to fall in. So when you do get them in there, they're gonna keep jumping and that allows you to keep feeding them and giving them the opportunity to, to birth more cows get this farm working pretty efficiently. When you press that button again, it turns off the water so they basically can stand still and you can put more cows in. So that is the number one thing. You wanna make sure you can get as many cows in there as you can because that'll just speed up the process and it'll make it a little bit easier, a little bit quicker as far as getting that max amount of cooked beef and that leather. That is very important. And all you gotta do is just kinda sit here and, and point at one of the corners of that spot once the water's turned off. And once you get, the, once you get as many cows as you want, turn that button back on so they're all floating and jumping up and down like so. And that'll just make sure that this farm is going to work 100% efficiently with no issues. So let's show you what happens now that we got all of our cows in here. So we got all the cows, they gotta wait a little bit of time for them to grow up, but once you have them grown up, you can go ahead and hit those lava buckets and it will just, it'll kill all the grown cows to give you an unlimited amount of leather and the unlimited amounts of cooked beef for your Minecraft world. This is a super efficient farm, super easy to make. I thought this was amazing. Um, I will link all of the, the people that I found these videos from in the description below. So make sure you guys check them out. Uh, but one of the guys I know his name is T-Bogs and the other one I believe, I, I can't even remember. So I'll make sure to leave those links in the description below. Uh, they were from a little while ago, but these work in 1.17. 
Very simple. Second farm we're gonna cover today, let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly it is. It is a cooked chicken farm. So these are all the items you're gonna need. Chest, observers, hoppers, same kind of deal. Uh, exact amounts right here, and it's fairly simple. This one's actually super simple uh, to make. So go ahead and put an observer facing one way, an observer facing a, the opposite way. Uh, so you're gonna see those red lights blinking. Put a temporary block or a regular block right here with a dispenser on top of it. Pointing in, you wanna see that face pointing towards you. And then go ahead and put a double chest on the other side of the observers, like so, with a hopper pointing into that chest. Once you have that going for you, you're going to go ahead and fast forward to this position where you're going to have another hopper pointed into the dispenser. And then you're going to go ahead and put a slab on this hopper over here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We're almost there. So go ahead and put a glass block on that side and then a two, uh, two stack of glass block over here on top of the chest. That just ensures that's going to be kind of like your death chamber, I'm going to call it. Uh, put a temporary block here, a temporary block here. You're gonna get your trap doors out and make sure you put them on the bottom side of everything because you want them all to close upwards. So you wanna put them on all these areas right here. Boom, 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 boom. And then you can destroy, you can go ahead and put a trap door on top of the blocks. And then once you do so, destroy those temporary blocks and close up all your trap doors. So it all looks just like this. Now you can go ahead and open one of the trap doors uh, because you're gonna have to go ahead and put your lava in this position. This is your death chamber again. Make sure it's hovering and not falling down uh, because that is gonna make sure what is gonna be killing your chickens and making sure the baby chickens don't die because that's what you're gonna need to have happen. Now, once you have that, all you need from this point is to throw those chicken eggs. And this one thing, you do have to find chickens or chicken eggs. You can get the seeds and follow, make them follow you into this chamber. But these chickens are gonna be your ones that are gonna birth everyone else so chickens just naturally spawn eggs uh, everyone knows that so you have to get chickens in here somehow and once you get a good amount of chickens inside that little chamber on the right they're going to start dropping eggs going into the hopper pointing into the dispenser the dispenser is going to kick those eggs into the second hopper area and that's going to basically be your baby chickens slash some adult chickens that'll end up dying due to the lava once they grow into adults and after a while once they get killed it's going to put all their cooked food and their feathers uh, into the chest below. So this is again a very super simple farm that I think you should definitely have in your Minecraft world. Third and final farm we're going to talk about is a super simple sugarcane farm. Everyone's probably talked about it. We built one recently on the channel. They're super simple to make and so beneficial for your Minecraft world. I think this one along with the cow farm is probably my number one and two just because I need to make sure we have as many books and bookcases for enchantments that we can. So go ahead and build yourself an outline and this can be as big as you want, but you're gonna to wanna to build an outline out of grass or dirt or sand. And you're gonna put water in the middle of this. The reason why is because sugarcane can only grow on one of those three things with the water next to it. So go ahead and plant your sugarcane and you do need to find a little bit of sugarcane to make this farm work. But after that, go ahead and put a temporary block with blocks covering over that water. And it can be any block again, it doesn't have to be chiseled brick. I just like to be fancy. So anyways, after you get that, go ahead and get your pistons pointing towards the sugarcane. And again, these are very super simple to make. Uh, from there, you're gonna get your, dis your uh, observers. This is gonna be the important part. You're gonna want your dis uh, observers with the face pointing the sugarcane. So go to the back, point all of them this way, and it should be where the red dots go towards the back, the faces go towards the front. Now, once you get some redstone in place, we're gonna put another uh, layer of blocks back here. Put some redstone on top of these blocks. Once you do that, you are pretty much set. Uh, this will ensure that every time that sugarcane grows above the observer or to the observer level, it'll go ahead and kick all those sugarcane forward and you will have yourself a nice little spot to capture them. So go ahead and build yourself your capture system by putting a double chest right here. Uh, make yourself a little trough with nothing but hoppers pointed towards the middle, uh, into the middle chest, just because this is where it's gonna catch everything. And you're gonna wanna make sure you surround this farm or surround these chests and hoppers with walls. Uh, on the outside just because you want to make sure nothing escapes uh, and you want to make sure it's very you know efficient in making sure that this thing is going to not lose any of your sugarcane because again this is a very important piece to have so once again once you see all these sugarcanes grow it's going to kick them all forward hit them into those hoppers and it's going to make it an unlimited afk sugarcane farm so anyways guys that's going to be the three farms that i think are the most efficient and best things to have in minecraft if you guys have any ideas make sure you comment down below and again you can grow this one out to be as big as you want it to be it's up to you but anyways guys if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like subscribe to the channel and make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see next i appreciate you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next one take it easy everybody peace